car drivers, am I right? So it's no secret that car drivers, I mean, some of them anyway, really hate motorcycles. Like, really hate us for some reason. I don't know if it's the bike, I don't know if it's the rider. It's like, I don't even know you, man. It's like, what's your deal? And you know what? I've been thinking about that a lot this week. So between my normal internet browsing of stupid cat videos and naked ladies, I did a little bit of research. And I came up with three reasons why motorcycles are hated by car drivers. And I'm going to leave out obvious things like they're jealous and we're cooler than they are. Because, I mean, that's a given, right? I mean, we already know that. So I think there's a lot of bad information out there, I guess you could say. Or a lot of bad publicity. You know, a lot of motorcycles have a bad reputation because, as they say, you know, <laughs> bad apple spoils the bunch, right? So there's all these videos out there on the internet of guys running like triple digits between lanes, freaking stunting in the middle of the street, just riding like a-holes pretty much, right? And the general mindset of probably most people is, oh, this guy has a motorcycle. I've seen what motorcycle riders do. This guy must be a jerk. And honestly, those guys ruin it for the rest of us. I mean, those guys are generally riding around just being a pain in everybody's butt. And I think it's probably because they're loud and obnoxious, which kind of leads me to the second point, you know? They probably don't like a lot of the modifications we do to our bikes. For specifics, <laughs> loud exhaust and loud radios. And I think exhaust is not so much as when you're moving, it's just, you know, some guys like to sit on their freaking hog and crank her at the old stoplight, right? What you do, unless your bike's about to die, that's kind of unnecessary. And as far as stereos goes, I mean, I get the point. I get the reason for having them. But I mean, I listen to music in a Bluetooth headset, man. I mean, it's in my helmet. I mean, I don't need to blast my freaking 90s jams for everybody. Certainly don't listen to modern music, because honestly, it kind of sucks. And I think that again just goes back to being loud and obnoxious, right? But I know what you're thinking, Lucky Aces, that's the point of putting the exhaust on there. You know, it's to be loud and obnoxious. They need to hear me because they're not paying attention. And that is like got to be the world's tiniest traffic circle. And I agree with you 100% because most of them probably aren't paying attention like they should be. And honestly, I'll admit I kind of zone out from time to time riding, which I shouldn't do. But that's just how the human brain works. car drivers. And the last reason that came up quite a bit was like big motorcycle rides, which I know a lot of them are for charity, a lot of them are for, you know, helping out a local family in need, uh, medical bills, food on their table, whatever. But you got to think about it from the car driver's perspective, right? You got a couple dozen bikes all trying to stay together. And a lot of these organized rides, you're going to have people blocking traffic, right? You know, we got blockers doing their thing on each side so everybody can run that red light and they're sitting over here to green wanting to go, but they can't. Kind of don't disagree with them, you know? Because unless it's, uh, <laughs> unless, you know, as far as I'm aware, unless it's like an official law enforcement escorted ride, you technically can't do that. But then again, I don't know because I don't do any group rides. Pretty much just ride by myself, you know? So if I'm wrong on that, let me know in the comments. But from what I found, those were the three main things that a lot of car drivers were complaining about when it comes to motorcycles. Now personally, I just try to ride as courteous as possible, try not to get in anybody's way. I try to be predictable in my movements too. It's like I'm not just gonna like cut over, you know, a lane unless it's like an emergency. But they wanna get where they're going, I wanna get where I'm going, and I want both of us to get there as safe as we possibly can. If you guys get any other reasons, let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to read them. And if you're looking for some tips to help you navigate around all these cars and whatnot and how to just be safer in traffic, check this video out right here. And as always, y'all be good. See ya!